Ah, uh, great. Same. <laughs> For me, the same. Yeah. How are you, man? Great, great, great. So, I mean, like, clearly the, the public uh, underrated Spain going into Eurobasket. What did, what did the media people, like, not see that you guys had? I mean, why did, why did, why did we whiff so badly on that? I mean, I don't, I don't really know. It was just, um, it was too, too many people don't, don't believe in us. Uh, because we don't have the, the old people, you know, Gasol, Smart, Navarro, Felipe, Calderon. But something that is inside of us in Spain is just we, com we compete against everybody and it's something uh, really special. And we are not uh, afraid about any team. And for us, it was just competing every day, trying to get better through the tournament and uh, just do our job, uh, trusting the, the coaching staff, doing uh, the planning, uh, the, the game plan. And we have to follow in and try to be right. So for us, it was, it was perfect. Uh, we knew what we need to do every single game and we just need to compete and do and give our 120% and we did it and we become European champions again. So it's really special. You, you've won gold with, with Spain before. Where does this one rank? How does it compare to other times? I mean, it's uh, for me in all my my medals with the national team, this one is the most uh, valuable for, for me. Uh, the way we uh, grow uh, through training camp, through the tournament, uh, the way we compete against everybody with no being afraid. Uh, and for me, especially to be able to be the leaders of the team and, and play a lot of minutes without any restrictions and, and anything. It was amazing because I really enjoy to play basketball and I really saw everybody, all the work that I've been uh, putting on. So uh, it's really good because it gives me confidence. And uh, one more time again, you know, uh, trusting my work that I've been doing last last couple of years. And I'm going to keep doing and try to keep growing and, and try to play basketball. Such a, a big role. Obviously, we, we saw what it meant to him for for you to win MVP. Mm -hmm. But what did it what did it mean for you to, to be able to be those those top two guys there? I mean, it's uh, super special to be able to win again with with my brother, uh, especially for him having a hard year. You know, changing so many times of team. Um, you know, finally watch him and, and show him uh, working so hard, extremely hard every day, and. Uh, I was telling him, like, let the game come to you. I don't put any pressure on you. This is the national team. We Everybody loves you here. You have no pressure. Um, and he finally grows all through the tournament. And he was there when we need him. And that was the final, you know, hitting seven threes. And he was Juancho. He was not Bo Cruz. He was Juancho. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I feel great. I feel great. He, he found his rhythm again, you know. And it's really hard when you are so many games without playing, with no confidence. Everybody look so completely different player. And my brother is that player in the final that we everybody saw um, with confidence, attacking the rim, shooting every shot. So hopefully that helped him uh, through the season this year. And we joked about it, but I mean, what's it like going into the tournament, you know, with Luka, with Giannis, with Jokic, so many great players that went to Eurobasket, and you're the guy that came out with the gold and the MVP? Uh, it means that the, the teams are 12 players, and uh, everybody have to give their best to be able to win a championship. Uh, and that's for not only Eurobasket, not Euroleague, it's, it's about the NBA. One player can be super talented, but they need a team uh, around him who can, they can help and they can know their role. And uh, I've been telling the guys there, uh, we are not the most talented team in Spain. We are not the strongest guy in the team, but we are the best unit. We are uh, the best chemistry, the best locker room chemistry. And uh, that's the key. The winning teams, they have that. They have that DNA on, on there. So. That's one of the things that I want to have with the Pelicans from the beginning. Uh, and We have super talented team, but as well, super great locker room. And both mix, it can be very dangerous because it can be really, really good and really hard to stop. So we need to work together from the beginning using this training camp and setting our goals, and it's going to be good. And how do you think that experience playing in competitive games all summer is going to help you be prepared for this season? I'm, I'm prepared. I'm prepared. My, my confidence is super high. Um, I saw everybody again when I, when I have minutes. Uh, I can be one of the best centers uh, to play basketball. So for me, I just want to keep doing what I do, which is play basketball. I expect to play. Um, Jonas and I will have a bet. The winner of that, that, that game against Lithuania and Spain is going to be the starting center. So I guess you have seen me here. <laughs> uh, but yes, my confidence is great. I'm really excited to, to be able to be here and you know, I have so much fun playing basketball. Um, 
minutes and enjoying and making mistakes and, and everything, you know, it's, it's part of the game. So I'm, I'm really expecting to, to play, to have fun and help my team to win because I'm coming from a winning team. And I've been telling you guys every summer when I come back, but this one is special. I feel with uh, a lot of confidence and I'm going to keep working, try to be better every day and, and try to help my team. What's your view of hustle? How do you think Juancho did as a, a leading man? I think Juancho did uh, a, a decent job, right? Uh, to not have any experience on the movie, to never act in other other stuff. Uh, he really uh, impressed me and um, he was working a lot uh, with their teachers and everything to know how to act and in, in, he was too many months there in Philadelphia during the summers. You know, they've, they've been filming the, the movie for two years and I was super happy to see uh, the movie, but the most important thing was my three seconds on the movie. You guys saw it, right? <laughs> but uh, a new experience, um, it was something special for me, my brother and my family, and I'm super happy for him and hopefully they can do hustle too. Uh, so, I mean, looking at, at, at this team this year, you guys bring back almost everybody from last year and you add, you know, a Dyson and a, and a Z to that. How much does that continuity help going into a new year having so many guys that you're already so familiar with? It's, it's going to be great. Um, we already uh, know each other. We worked hard last year and it was a, a work in progress, you know, and Coach Willie knows what this team needs to do. Uh, everybody knows what we can give to this team and having the same, almost the same unit in the second year can be really good because we knew, we taste what the playoff is uh, last year at and I think everybody is hungry and everybody is going to work hard from the beginning to try to have a good run and not make the play, you know, just make the playoff and have a good run and we're going to prepare and we're going to compete and we're going to grow through the season as well. Yeah, at the end of the last season, David Griffin had said you were pretty much untradeable, untouchable on the market. What did it mean to hear that from him, knowing you would have a spot on this roster again going into this season? It feels, uh, it feels great to have the confidence of the, of the organization and it feels uh, safe to, I know they have my back, you know, it's, it's going to be my third year here and I try to give everything uh, to this organization and this team every single day because you guys are my family, Trey and, and is here, but everybody is my family and, and I feel so happy to, to be back. But uh, like I say, I feel with a lot of confidence this year after this summer um, and I just want to try to compete and try to uh, have a good run to the playoff, try to be a better player, better person. But at the same time, I have so much fun playing uh, this year and this summer basketball that I really want to play. So, I mean, hopefully that confidence is, is in, in minutes. Um, Trey Murphy. From oh, my God. Trey Murphy. From I don't miss that. No. Trey Murphy from the Pelican.com. Yes, um, keep going. <laughs> just want to ask, uh, who do you, um, you know, what do you dedicate this MVP and gold medal to? Anybody on the team specifically? You got to be Pelican's team? <laughs> it doesn't have to be, but I mean, that would be preferred uh, for sure. No. Um, listen, this, uh, first of all, this MVP that they give me is because they have to give to somebody. But for me, it was every single guy of my team, 12 guys, there was the MVP. But yes, Trey, you were part of this too. Uh, you're part of the gold medal of Spain. Because, oh, no, 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 honestly, you. You've been with me last year. You're still a rookie until your next game, okay? But uh, you helped me as well, and you you helped me to to grow. Um, everybody have a bad days, and you always were there to help me and keep trusting the work that we put in on day off, day in. So uh, I'm very proud of uh, of you and the way you grow through last year, the, the player that you become. And I know you're gonna have a great year, and you're ready to go. So you part of this uh, this tournament, this MVP, and everything. Muchos gracias. Yes. <laughs> All right, you speak about uh, confidence, right? And hopefully that integrates to the next season. Uh, one thing that I noticed during the Eurobasket, you were going left a lot. Mm -hmm. It seems like that's something you want to continue, right? You know what happened? Uh, the, the coaches that they know me really well, they know that I'm, I'm going left most of the time. So I feel more confidence. I don't know why. Uh, maybe better touch or, or whatever. Um, but I'm right-hander, so... The other teams, they gotta, they gotta see what, which way they gonna send me. I'm gonna try to score both ways. <laughs> uh, you're, you're one of the few players, surprisingly, who's actually been on the court with Zion um, a couple of years ago. And not only that, like your units were really successful. How excited are you to sort of get back on the court with him and, and, and try to replicate some of the success you guys had uh, two years ago? I'm, uh, I'm really excited to, uh, to be part of the, 
the team with Sion again, you know, having healthy, better than ever is going to be super dangerous. And for me especially, he make my, my job easy, uh, offensively and defensively. And one of the most important things is our chemistry relationship and, and it's, it's really good. And this is going to be our th third year together as well. We really want to, you know, be uh, on the same time in the core because he knows that I'm going to be ready for his passes and um, I'm going to be ready for rebound and try to both work really well. And it works and it's so up uh, two years ago when we played together. Uh, but I think this year is going to be even better. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited and I can't wait to be with Sion and, and fight for the rebounds and defend and, and make buckets. I was talking with Willie uh, a couple of minutes ago, and I shared my, my thoughts with him. Um, I think we, what we have here in this locker room and, and this building and this organization is, is special, and it's going to be super special, the way we work, the way we build this team. Uh, it's the way that we grow in every day, and you guys can see the way we grow through uh, last year, and this year is going to be the same. Um, personally, I'm, I'm going to try to keep doing my job, which was kind of the same. Uh, out, outside the court, you know, try, try to be a leader, try to uh, lead by example, try to show the young guys the way and what win is uh, and means. Uh, and it, it means that you have to work every day. It doesn't matter if it's a day off or day, you have to work, you have to keep getting better, trust your coaches and try to um, give everything to the basketball court because winning is, is, is really beautiful and it's so hard. It's not too many people that they can be a part of a winning team. And we're trying to build and we try to be the best team ever. So. I think we're in a good uh, way and a good direction as well with Willie Green and the head of Snake. Real quick, being that you're the only team person on the team who's won a professional MVP, have you had talks with Zion and Bi about what it takes to be an MVP? I told I told Bia when we were at the pictures. I say, Bia, I'm, I'm an MVP. You are not. <laughs> so. Uh, I, I know he's going to be one of the uh, conversation of the MVP this year for sure uh, because just the, the way he works and the way he uh, dedicates his mind, his body to the game, his commitment is something unbelievable that everybody should imitate him. You know, he got to be the mirror of every young guy that they want to play basketball. Not only NBA, just professionally. That you have to prepare your mind and your body 100%. And Brandon is, is unbelievable. Like, I thought that I worked really hard, guys, but Brandon Ingram is, is incredible. It's incredible. Thank you, guys.